This is the Meet the Team podcast. I'm Brady Jolly. I'm here with my friend Jake Whaley. Um, Jake's uh, our lead installer on our HVAC department um, and he's been with us here now for a few years. So we're just going to get to know him today and talk a little bit about uh, why he got in the trades and about his life. So welcome, man. Welcome to the podcast. Thanks. Thanks is this your for first podcast? Me. This is my first podcast, yes. Cool. <laughs> um, <clears throat> dude, tell me about like just your life, your family, what you do for fun. Uh, well, um, I like to be outside. I like to do a lot of stuff outside. Uh, definitely when the weather's nice. I like playing sports. Uh, I like golfing. Keep your comments to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I like spending time with friends. Uh, I like hanging out with family. Uh, tell me about your family. Nothing too crazy. Uh, I've got an older sister, younger brother. Um, they're kind of, I don't know. <laughs> We're all a lot different. Uh, but, uh, my sister, she just, uh, she just had twins this year. So she's, uh, she's got her hands full. My brother, he's got two little boys. So that's all we got. It's a bunch of boys running around. We got six, six grandkids now that are all boys and one girl. Yep. So what about your kids? Uh, I've just got one. Um, he's about, he's almost, uh, almost two years old. Uh, I'll be two years old in a few months here. His name's Maverick. He, uh, such a cool name. He keeps my, he keeps my hands full. <laughs> That's what's that been like, man? What's it like having a two year old man? Uh, it's uh, you know, what's crazy is I've realized recently is going through the phases of him like understanding things, like understanding words. He's starting to say some words back. The other day, we were sitting on the couch, it was the other morning, um, and he's sitting on my couch, he's watching TV, and I, I lean over and I say, Can I have a kiss? and he just shakes his head, he goes, No. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I don't know if I should laugh or be upset about yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool, man. It's cool. So, um, you know, I know you've been in the trades for a while. Uh, tell us about, like, why you got into it and what you like about it. Okay. Uh, well, I kind of got into the trades because of my dad. Um, my dad's been a pipe fitter. He, was a pipe, he just retired recently, but he was a pipe fitter since he was about 25, so almost 40 years or so. Um, I always liked working with my hands. I remember in high school taking like career aptitude tests. I always got some awkward job <laughs> request. Like uh, I remember one I used to always get was auto body uh, painter. And I was like, what in the world is this? So when I got a little bit older, uh, I went to college. College just wasn't really for me. Um, I ended up getting into the trades. I kind of fell into it. And my dad basically said to me, he's like, if you're not going to go to college, then learn a trade, make yourself expendable. So that's Heck yeah. Kind of what I did. <laughs> and was your first job when you kind of got in the trades, was it in HVAC? Mm -hmm. Yes. It, it was. was. And what was that like? Like what when you started, were you doing like service and install? Were you doing everything or what were you doing? Um, so actually where I started, uh, they did electric too. So I was kind of just uh, just an extra hand. That's how I started. Um, kind of learning the way everything works, learning the way just being in customers' houses, using tools, just little stuff like that. Um and eventually, I kind of, I kind of decided I wanted to do HVAC based off of the length of the school. <laughs> so H HVAC is generally uh, two years, uh, electrics four years. So good call. <laughs> I, I did this because I didn't want to be in school, so I went with two years, and here I am. Worked out for me. So cool. And uh, how long have you worked at Jolly now? So I'm actually, I'm about two months away from my three year anniversary. So Heck yeah, it's man, it's been a while. That's awesome. It is. So yeah, tell me about like. So obviously you're our HVAC installer. You're like carrying the ball in HVAC basically. <laughs> like, you know, when we have big months, it's because you've installed a crap ton of work and you've kicked kick butt all month, you know? Um, like, tell us about what you like about being like the guy, like the installer, the guy who is like putting the stuff in. You're like giving it the final check mark at the end of jobs. You're like making sure the customer is extremely satisfied after you put in a brand new system. This is like an extremely, it's a big investment mm -hmm. for a lot of people sure. only do this once in their whole life, get yeah. a new HVAC system. Yeah. This is a big deal for them. Mm -hmm. So, like, what's that like being, like, being that guy, kind of having that pressure? Uh, I don't really want to say pressure. Uh, I, don't, I don't feel pressure to do my daily job. But one thing that I really take pride in is I, my workmanship. Um, that's one thing that I think always separates um, not really an HVAC, but just a good tech. It separate, separates a good tech from a bad tech. Um, a lot of guys can go in there and make it work, but not everybody can go in there, make it look great, and make it work. Uh, so that's one thing I definitely try to hold myself to a high standard to. Um, I try and hold the guys that work with me. I try to hold them to a high standard. I let them know. I kind of set the bar, I like to say. So 
most of the time the customers don't care. But <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I'll tell customers like, oh, yeah, I made sure this looked right, great. And they're like, I don't even know what it looked like before. And I was like, darn, it's a little shot to my ego. But <laughs> Hey, I know the, I know you have the reputation of like everything looks great. Yeah. Everything's perfect. I know you hold your guys to that because it's mm-hmm. like the times when you're off and – another person's putting in the mm-hmm. install i've heard like man i hope jake would like this like i'm gonna send him <laughs> pictures and i'm gonna show him like i think this will be up to his standard but that's, <laughs> that's awesome funny. like that's what we want yeah. right like we want but it's a, it's awesome you're training yeah. these guys the right way so yeah I, re- I really appreciate that man that's cool um so normally you have you know hvac you're like not we talked to plumbers about like some nasty jobs they've been in yeah, and yeah. stuff like HVAC generally things aren't too crazy, but I know you sometimes have to put stuff in like, uh, attics and crawl spaces mm-hmm. and things like that. Um, what is when you see like a job or you come across on your iPad or you go, you know, to a job, like what's the setup of the furnace where you're just like, Oh, this is going to suck. Like, this is the worst. <laughs> <laughs> like what do you, what, what is that? Or AC? What is it? Uh, well, yeah, definitely anytime I see anything laying horizontal, uh, horizontal generally means crawl space, attic space, uh, somewhere you don't really want to be spending all day. Um, so that's one thing I I do not enjoy seeing. Uh, you definitely got your hoarders out there. Um, sometimes you can, uh, you see a picture of the furnace and you see more stuff than the furnace. (laughs) That's not fun. Um, but yeah, just what you, what you got to deal with. What about like when you're working in crawl spaces or attics? Have you ever came across any crazy critters or anything? Nothing too crazy. I've seen some. I've seen plenty of mice. Uh, a lot of dead mice. <laughs> seen a lot of dead mice in furnaces. Um, in the blower really, motors. And yeah, yeah. In the blower motors. Oh man, I pulled a uh, I pulled a squirrel out of a flue pipe that looked like it had been there for a while. That was uh, that was kind of recent. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Covered in gnats. The smell was horrendous. <laughs> Yikes. Um, so what would you say if you're in a crawl space, you know, what, what's like the last thing that you want to see in there? Oh, anything alive, <laughs> anything alive. I'd rather see a dead animal all day than I would see uh, a live one, uh, a snake, a raccoon, <laughs> a rat, <laughs> anything like that. I don't want to see anything alive yeah. in there. I get that. Uh, so, um, talk about like, I know you've installed over your career and like it's different companies and everything you've installed diff- like a lot of different type of equipment. Mm-hmm. We obviously install mainly Daikin. Mm-hmm. Um, talk about like what you like about the Daikin products, some of your favorite products that they offer. Um, I feel like Daikin's very installer friendly. Um, I feel like a lot of this stuff was maybe designed a little bit better than some of the other equipment I've installed. Uh, makes it a little bit easier. Accessibility and stuff inside the equipment um, is very nice. Um, uh, they do have one of the best warranties uh, in the business. I know they come with a 12-year warranty. Most other companies come with 10 years or less. But, uh, yeah. uh, what about the fit system? What do you think is like the benefit the customer gets with a fit system? I tell you what, the fit system, um, it is extremely sophisticated. Um, it does a lot of stuff that I haven't seen in other units. Uh, my, that might be from my inexperience, but, um, the, uh, the inverter, uh, the inverter is a game changer, able to, uh, ramp all the way up to 125% and then all the way down to 25% to really kind of only target what you need. Uh, if you need one degree in the house, it's, it's going to run at a low speed, uh, low, uh, low energy, uh, a lot more efficiently. Uh, if you need, maybe if you need three, four, five degrees, it's going to ramp up. It's going to run heavier. It's going to, uh, get to the house to the point where it needs to faster. Cool. Yeah, that's great. I love hearing Danny talking about our, the fit system. He's the right guy to talk to. <laughs> he, knows. he tells customers that you can put a, uh, tablecloth on it and eat off of it while it's running and you can hardly hear it <laughs> that i tell you what that is that is one of the most imp- uh, um, impressive things with some of the daikin systems not only the fit system but some of their other systems as well are they are some of the quiet yeah. quietest systems that i've ever heard especially the fit system yeah so so what would you say is your favorite thing about being in the trades um honestly i i, I never feel bored um I, I i can't i can't sit i like to get up i like to move i like to use my hands so that's kind of one thing that's always that's always drawn me to it. I like, I like being active. I like yeah. getting up. I like moving. <laughs> Love it. That's so. cool. Uh, do you have any crazy customer stories or anything um, cool, crazy, interesting that's ever happened in a customer's <laughs> house? Uh, I had one customer. This was out in the Campbell County area. Um, he was a pretty interesting guy. He was so excited to have us out. Um, 
he actually had the furnace right next to a gun safe and I, I being a little bit interested in guns I happened to ask him what he's got in there and he happened to pull out a 357 magnum with a with a 12 inch barrel and a scope on it and I was checking it out I was very interested in it and he's like I got tons of ammo you guys want to go out and shoot it <laughs> nice and this guy he took us out back and and he let us me and my uh, me and my helper we shot off a few rounds so you can't beat that man. Yeah, that's yeah, a good so. day good yeah day that's a awful. good day and then he bought us pizza too so sweet I think I don't think he ever wanted us to leave he was having a good time with us <laughs> any other uh interesting tip like have you ever got any other tips like people giving you tips other than cash like anything else anybody's ever given you no not that i can really think of cash uh gift cards beer didn't you get beer or was that somebody else oh i've definitely got a few beers yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a few beers we uh that was recently maybe that was the sewer department came came back and there was like six cases of beer in the dispatch office i'm like oh yeah What's yeah going on here that, i think that was them <laughs> i think that was them i was uh, that was you guys yeah. any other interesting or crazy stories or anything you can think of yeah, I got some nasty ones, but <laughs> <laughs> bring it. Let's hear it. Oh man, where was this at? Well, I can't. I don't want to say this because I live in Foster now, but this was in Foster. <laughs> <laughs> this lady's house. Um, this lady had to have been ninety-five years old. Um, we go down in the basement. The basement's all wet. It's dirty. It's dusty, and it smells awful. We start looking around. There's these giant holes, like where you have the joy spaces, where they sit on the wall, or just blown out, like you can just see straight outside. We told her about them. We told her we were going to plug them up, and she yelled at us. She said, no, I want those open so my cats can get in, so my cats can stay warm. We started looking around the ductwork, and you would not believe the, the – there was there was cat poop everywhere. There was cat poop on the unit, in the unit, and I had to replace that, and then even found a dead cat in the basement. So. A cat in the basement? Dead dead. Oh, you want to talk about fossilized? The cat was fossilized. <laughs> it was there for years, most likely. So that was It's gotta be one of your worst instances. That that's memories. probably my worst. And the worst part was it was in the dead of winter. Like I think we just got like eight inches of snow. So it was it was Yikes. rough. I got some pictures of that one, maybe I'll show you. Yeah. All right. <laughs> um what is it that you like the most about working at Jolly? Uh I tell you what, I feel like this place is constantly changing. Um, like I said, I've been here almost three years and I feel like from when I started to my halfway point to now, it's completely different. And obviously I mean that in a good way. Um, it keeps me, it keeps me excited. It keeps me, I'm not very bored. Um, yeah. so I guess it's hard to get bored. I mean, good. some of the stuff we got going on around here, I mean, I'm doing a podcast today. So, yeah, great. <laughs> uh, I mean, that's one thing I like. It kind of almost keeps me on my toes, I guess I could say. So that's cool. Yeah. Uh, you know, it was very interesting when you came on board, it was like, mm -hmm brand new department oh yeah like we really we were a bunch of plumbers trying to run an hvac department <laughs> like and, you know we were kind of candid about that like hey man we'll see what happens yeah, we're gonna yeah. go full speed but like you know i remember going like weeks and just trying to drum up any yeah. type of business that excited we about could. one install a week one we're install like yes what are we gonna pump, do <laughs> and now you have weeks where you're putting five in yeah. and you're one every day and then even doubling up on other days yep, so it's yep. it's been cool man having you as part of the journey and like yeah. we couldn't have done it without you man like yeah. having the comfort of like you know the process of like getting leads flipped and getting them sold and then like once they're sold it's like done like Jake's got this. we're good you know so that good goes. i mean that that's what i that's like i said that's what i try to do i try to hold myself to a high standard um kind of something like i said i was always taught is try to hold yourself accountable i never want to be the reason something goes wrong of course there's sometimes you will be no matter what but <laughs> yeah i always try to do my best what do you think um is there anything that you see in like the hvac specifically like technology wise or anything that you think is going to be happening in the industry uh, I know Freon's changing a lot. Um, just looks like it's going to give everybody a headache, but <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> different brands uh, or brand specific Freons. Um, besides that, I mean, thermostats are, are constantly changing. Um, a lot of the, uh, the technology and the equipment's changing a lot. Like if I would have saw something like the fit system, when I first started doing HVAC, I would have I would I wouldn't have known what to do. I'd probably crap my pants. I don't yeah. really don't don't even know where to start. I mean, some of the components in there and stuff are like I said are so sophisticated. Um, but yeah, it's it's hard to say. It's hard to say where it'll go. It's funny, man. We're like uh, 
you know, I know being in the trades, you always see like the old, the old guys, the old timers yeah, who, yeah. well, back when I started this and yeah. that, <laughs> me and you're about the same age. We're not quite there, but here in a few years, we're going to be, that's I know. I, I say it all. I feel like I do say that often. I mean, cause, uh, I'm, I'm approaching 10 years now. I started, uh, I started doing HVAC right before I turned 21. So a lot of times I, I, I get customers that say that they're like, Oh, you, you must not have been doing this too long. And I'm like, well, I mean, Two thirds of my life, I feel like it's pretty long, even though it's only been ten years. Yeah, heck so. yeah. Well, dude, you're an animal, man. You're, I love having you on board. <laughs> you crush it. Seriously, like, thank you for everything you do for no us, problem. man. You're no like problem. core core part of what Jolly is. So I appreciate love the positive that. attitude, hard work, man. You're like the epitome of what a Jolly employee should be. So well, thank you. I appreciate. Yep, that. I appreciate it, man. Thanks for being on the podcast. No problem. <laughs>